Hello everyone, my name is Relax and Panic and this is another reaction to Steins Gate. And you know what to do, as always, if you want to see the reaction itself, go down into my descriptions. You will find a link that leads to the reaction, replace the circumflex dot parts with real dots and enjoy. Once you've done, feel free to come back here, hear out my thoughts about this episode. So, see you soon. For those that came back, welcome back. Now, um, that was an interesting one and quite clever. Uh, so, uh, let's just see. The thing is, we have a completely new intro song and a completely new outro song. So, um, I rechecked on the intro song. I did not for the outro. I hope you can forgive that. Um, and as I expected, the intro song already kind of gives you the information what this episode is about. Uh, which is clever. So uh, we had um, in the intro song, um, well, apart from the thing about infinite love and finite, merciless uh, march of time, which is very fitting because whatever he did, Ocarin did, the time was merciless marching on and again and again. So like an endless wheel, he couldn't change it. Um, while the infinite love, which it was about to Mayuri and to Christina, are the main things in the series. Um, but the one thing that is important here that was very interesting is, which I just pointed out here, I must not undo any of it. And I, um, what was it? I, I will tricking and deceiving time. So I will do use all my tricks I have to deceive time itself. Um, so there was foreshadowing to the end of the episode. Very nicely done. Um, but I was too much busy with other stuff, so I did not catch all of it completely there. Um, so we jumped in with Suzuha, which is nice to see again. And they played the father and daughter game quite a lot here. And um, I'm not sure if Dari yet realized, but he for sure realized something strange is about this father thing. Um, because she always looks into his direction and he's not really aware yet. Um, so, I mean, he's a clever one. Maybe he already catched it. She's from the future, so. She calls Ocarina her, her uncle, which is fitting. Um, so, still the big question, who's the mother? I don't know if we will ever learn that. So, once again, she comes from 2036. And, um, as we already know, there's World War Three. With, I mean, this is an enormous amount of dead people, 5.7 billion dead people. This is close to everyone that lives on the world today. I mean, we are close to 7 billion right now, or, did, or maybe we even passed it. Um, I remember when I was in school that we learned we have about 5 billion people on the planet. This is quite a while ago. Um, now we are around 7. Um, there's no question this is a problem for the world itself because we are growing too fast and too much. But that's something else. Um, so 5.7 billion are dead. Um, question is from which time they count in the meaning of that that mean there's like 300 million left. So let's say 6 billion people. Or maybe it still are like 2 billion or 3 billion left because in 2036 world population might be bigger. But it doesn't change the fact that this is a horrific number. It's it's huge. Um, so many dead people. And all because um, people, so in this case the states, tried to build time machines and as it seems World War Three broke out over it. Which, from the perspective of those in power, makes sense. The one that has the time machine, that controls the time machine, will win. He is superior. You cannot beat him anymore. Because when this person, this state is about to lose, they will just travel back in time and change it until they win. Um, Suzuha is there to get Ocarin to join and go back in time. To make sure this doesn't happen. And... Um, he completely denies it because he is so done with all this time travel, which I can understand. I mean, he lost everything now, it seems. Um, there were We accompanied him on his journey, so I can completely see his point that he's like, I, I don't care. I'm. He's so broken already at this point that he's like, I don't care about those 
close to 6 billion people. I don't care at all. There's only one I care about and I can't save her. Which is where they um, lure him in by saying, well, it's about rescuing her. That's it what it's about. And so he joins in. He goes into the past to save Maki's Kurizu. And by doing so, save Maki's, save the world line. Um, we then jump into the intro, which I already talked about a bit. So, I mean, we have seen enough of these episodes to know that it will not be so easy. And um, yeah, it wasn't. But it was kind of entertaining to see how they um, put this episode with episode one together. So um, we had those moments in episode one where you heard something, someone yelling, um, some noises, and uh, there was this video file and so on and so forth, um, which most of the things I already forgot by now because it's quite a while ago. Um, but it was very fitting. So he heard himself. Um, the metal upa is important as we know now uh, because it is used somehow to transport i think um the uh he used it for the metal detector i'm not completely sure what that meant um however they um are in the past now because this time machine works into the past but they could jump back into the future as well which is awesome um and try to save her but this is already a scheme because suzuha already knows you can't win this you cannot do it um i'm a bit surprised she's wearing a gun um because we haven't seen much of this in the series yet but okay she's the warrior from the future she's a soldier um he ocarine meets Marquise Kurizu and is not really able to talk to her at all. And I remember from episode one <clears throat> that there was this moment when Marquise Kurizu told him something like, what did you want to tell me the last time? So she remembered meeting him and he was strange to her, you know. But you could clearly see that she realized something in his eyes, in the way that he behaved, that, she's, that he's not crazy completely. Um, because it was Loft that was looking through, he was completely um, shattered um, in his love for her, and I think she realized it and felt it. So that's why she, later on in episode one, um, asked him what it was about. Um, however, after the co conference, he was waiting in this, I will call it LA, this room where she stepped, and... Um, she came along and there it's getting interesting. So we know her father is someone related to time travel, someone who wrote articles on time travel. Um, we didn't know it was uh, Dr. Nakabashi from episode one, but it's very fitting. Um, it is heartbreaking to see what's going on because she really, really tried to help him. Um, we know that from what she told us about his past, and her past that she kind of um accidentally destroyed his career um without really wanting it she was just more clever than him that's it she's just more clever that's it um so she made she wrote papers on time machines she wrote papers on time travel and combined them and she brought him along to help him to um, give and she even said let's publish it together father and daughter together so she's completely positive really trying her best as a daughter to console her, console her father to get back together with her father um, and that's one thing that she mentioned even later on um, to be uh, respected just accepted as a daughter and he's crazy I mean he's completely nuts there's no question there so he chokes her, he hits her, he was about to stab her, and um, in the end he's, he's stealing her paper, and when she's dying he doesn't care at all. This man is broken, mentally, completely. Uh, he is, um, 
I'm not saying that he's an evil person. I guess the things that happened in the past broke him completely. And he doesn't care at all about human emotions anymore, I guess. So, um, that was sad to see because uh, it betrayed her trust. It betrayed her hope. And um, so she lost in this moment so much, so much. Um, and the, in the end, all that has happened additionally around the struggling and the fighting is not really um, important in this case. So there are in the end two deaths at one. One is the death of the hope and of the beliefs of Marquise Carizu in this moment, uh, hoping that she can get together with her father, that they can be family again. And the other one is the real death, the uh, stabbing of her, uh, just by accident, um, by Ocarine. Which, when, uh, when the knife was drawn by the father, I was kind of sure something like that would happen. Um, it, there were two options that this could go. Something like that he would try to uh, stab um, Ocarine and he would evade and then accidentally the knife would hit uh, Marquise. I didn't think that Marquise would jump in front of Ocarine. There, she doesn't have the connection yet. Um, and then the other option which came more severe is when Ocarine took up the knife. Although they had the screwdriver in additionally. Um, I thought something might be happening like um, that he would whatsoever try to step the father and she would jump in, which would be fitting as well because she loves her father still, you know. Um, but instead they did the that he's charging him when she uh, when he tries to kill Marquise and he evades. So it's even worse, kind of. So, um, and that's it for Ocarina. I can completely see it. That is... Um, once again, time is pushing him in the face once more. So he now learned that he was the one that stepped his life off, you know? Um, the father goes away with the papers, is even laughing like a villain and everything, which, okay. And as we learn later on, goes to Russia, which starts the world war because the powers compete. Um, but in the end, then, Susua picks up Ocarina and brings him back to the present. Um, and he's just done. So, this is harsh. Um, because it is one more hit on him that, in many ways, doesn't seem necessary. He already lost her. Then he got the hope of rescuing her again. And then he did not only lose this hope, additionally, it is him that killed her. So that's a harsh one. Um, and you can see it, it's, I think, like, apart from the Mayushi theme, um, where he was giving up, it's maybe the one time that he's completely gone, completely broken and not willing to do anything anymore. Um, even when um, Suzua says, we have to try it again, it the first time failing, please try again. He completely by logic, you have to agree, says, no, it's done. I, I did this endless times, not for her, but for Mayuri. And I know it is not possible without another loss in the end. So the question would be, if, and he knows it, if he would save her, then possibly time would once again saying, okay, then I will kill Mayuri again. So it's like one, the one or the other. It's not like you have a choice. So um, he's giving up there, and um, <laughs> this is the one time where Mayuri shines again. Um, she slapped him. I didn't see that one coming. That was funny. Uh, so she hit him in the face uh, to wake him up, which is valid. And we learned a little bit more about their past. So uh, when she was standing at the grave of her grandmother, he came there every day to console her, to comfort her. That's it. Um, and that's what helped her over the loss of her grandmother. So this is where they groan on each other so much. Which brings us now to the real plan of the future. So, Ocarine from the future, 15 plus years, um, has a plan that, and that's interesting, you do not undo things, you do not 
change things. You can't because when you change, people will behave differently and the timelines will split change, whatever, and you can't foresee what these changes of timelines are. Um, so instead what you do is you let it work out exactly as it is, but you cheat, you deceive, you make it look as though. So um, you save Marquise Kurizu, but it has to look as though she was stabbed. Which means that um, she has to be in it. She has to play this part. Um, this is a pause that happened and you cannot change it. So he has to run towards her, possibly stab her, look like he stabbed her and has to believe he stabbed her. So he has, lived, he has to live through this to get to the point where the uh, occurring from the future is to make all these plans to make the time machine and so on. So it has to happen just that she didn't die there. So you need like, I don't know, tomato juice and everything, um, props. And you have to be good enough to fool Ocarine. Number one. And Marquise has to be mentally strong enough to let it happen. This is the one thing that I don't know how they want to do it. It's, that's a big one. Um, so guessing they really have to replay the whole scene. Unless, otherwise they can just, you know, bump her over the head, let her lay there, put a little bit tomato juice on the ground, and he thinks, step, sends the email, all is fine. Um, I'm not sure which version they will go. The first one will be way more complicated, no question there. Additionally, they will have to get the papers from the father, so um, I think that's something they can do. And they have to res rescue the metal upa. I mean, it's all about the upa. There's no question. Um, Mayuri, Mayuri needs a metal upa. It is important. So, I think that it is. Um, there will be an interesting episode next time. Looking forward to it. Well, that's it for this time. I hope you liked. I did. It was a great episode. And I will see you on the next one. Until then, please feel free to comment, like, and subscribe, as always. And, um, yeah, please be aware that I uh, do not only have a Facebook page, which is just for presents in case this channel is why ever shutting it down again. Um, I now have a my enemy list uh web page, whatever you will call it, account, although the page doesn't work at the moment, no clue why. Um, so you might join me there as well if you want to see what I already watched and you can give me recommendations for sure, which will be uh, needed in the future, I guess, because Steins Gate has zero now, which I will continue to watch. And um, I still watch My Hero Academia and the Monogatari series. But maybe there's one more coming in the future. Because I'm right now checking my schedule. So, as always, see you soon. My name is Relax and Panic. Goodbye. And out.